Got a 2019 Tahoe here with some messages on the dash. Steering assist reduced, uh, stability track, and of course we got a stability track light right there. And it's got some scary codes in here uh, with communication faults. Lots of codes. So EBCM here, communication, chassis, bus, steering wheel angle sensor, no calm, no calm with the restraints module, but yet the restraints module does talk. See, it's even saying it can't talk to the EBCM. So, hmm, interesting. So here's a document a lot of people don't know about, data link references, okay? This document will tell you what each module is and how they communicate. So you see right here, data link type. This is the modules that the radio can talk on or the networks the radio will talk on. So we scroll down here to the uh, EBCM. We see it's high speed and then chassis high speed. GM high speed LAN is what scan tool talks to. It talks to other modules on this chassis high speed and we'll set a U0077. So if we get down to the restraints module, you see it talks on the chassis and then the low speed and on the scan tool it's actually talking with the low speed line. So does that make sense how both modules can talk to the scan tool but they can't talk to each other? It's just different networks that they're talking on. So they talk to each other on chassis, but talk to scan tool on high speed and low speed CAN bus. Since we know we're dealing with chassis bus, we can go to the DLC, it's pins 12 and 13, and we can check this network to see what kind of activity we've got. All right, so I'm just probed in here with uh, some terminal leads and pin uh, four for my ground side here and then 12 for my chassis bus line and on the u-scope we can see that that cam bus line is definitely bad there is something going on with this all right so i wanted to get a two channel scope pulled up here to help kind of show what i think's happening i'm just still pinned in the dlc um, the yellow channel here is the can high the blue channel is the can low let me just stop this when I see a packet like this, I think that's a module I can talk to. When I see a packet like this, this is not a module I can talk to, and I believe that this is going to end up being an open circuit in the CAN high side. I have the battery disconnected and a quick ohm check. Yes, we've got an open circuit. We should have 60 ohms here. So which end of the network is the brake? associated with which side can we read this 120 ohms we need a wiring diagram the oe diagram shows one of the resistors is in the ebcm the other one is in the inflatable restraint sensing and diagnostic module also called an airbag module so a quick easy test is just to have your meter and unplug one of the modules whichever one's easiest to get to in this case the ebcm is and we still have our 120, so that means this is the resistor in the airbag module. So the end of the circuit we need to go after is this end. So I've got one lead in the can low side. You see we got 0 0.7 ohms. I'm also in the can low side here. Now let's go to the can high side. So can high side here. Still in can low side here. 120 ohms. That's going to be the airbag resistor. So I'm going to move from the can low pin here to the can high pin, which is just one pin over. You see, we still got our 120. If I pull this out, go over one. Look at that. Let's get out here. 16,000 ohms. So now we've proved the issue is pin 12 from the DLC somewhere back this direction to the EBCM. So now what I want to do is I want to watch the scope and I want to basically go through all the connectors, the center diagram, and just wiggle them because I think we're going to have a terminal issue since 
we've seen 16,000 ohms. That means it's not a completely open circuit. There is some kind of connection there, just not a very good one. So I want to touch the connectors and I want to see when this waveform goes normal. So there you go. That's a clean CAN bus. I made it to wiggling this connector right here and it come back. So let's see if we can reproduce this issue. Oh, yep, see it? Right there. Broke. And all I'm doing is just kind of like flexing this connector around. So our problem is going to be in here. This terminal is loose. There's no tension in that terminal. So we got a spread pin. All right, so I pulled that pin out, it's spread, tightened it back up, put it all back together, and we have a completely green tree now.